Flash Gordon is the protagonist of the space opera adventure comic strip created by and originally drawn by Alex Raymond. First published January 7, 1934, the strip was inspired by, and created to compete with, the already established Buck Rogers adventure strip. Starting April 22, 1935, the strip was adapted into The Amazing Interplanetary Adventures of Flash Gordon, a 26-episode weekly radio serial. The series followed the strip very closely, amounting to a week-by-week -week adaptation of the Sunday strip for most of its run. Flash Gordon was played by Gail Gordon, later famous for his television roles in Our Miss Brooks, Dennis the Menace, The Lucy Show and Here's Lucy. The cast also included Maurice Franklin as Dr. Zarkov and Bruno Wick as Ming the Merciless. The radio series broke with the strip continuity in the last two episodes, when Flash, Dilla and Zarkov returned to Earth. They make a crash landing in Malaysia, where they meet Jungle Jim, the star of another of Alex Raymond's comic strips. The series ended on October 26, 1935 with Flash and Dale's marriage. The next week, the adventures of Jungle Jim picked up in that Saturday time slot. Two days later, on October 28, the further interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon debuted as a daily show, running four days a week. This series strayed further from Raymond's strip, involving Flash, Dilla and Zarkov in an adventure in Atlantis. The series aired 60 episodes, ending on February 6, 1936. Presenting the adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. Last week we met Jungle Jim, gentleman adventurer, down in Malaysia. With him was his faithful man, Kolu. They rescued a missionary, the Reverend Manly Chalmers, from a wildcat and were invited to stay for supper with him and his wife. While they were getting acquainted, there was a terrible crash. Kolu came running with the news that an airship of some kind had landed in the bush. Jungle Jim and the missionary, closely followed by Mrs. Chalmers and Kolo, ran to the wreck. It proved to be the spaceship containing Flash Gordon, Dale Arden, and Dr. Zarkov. After they were revived and it was found that they weren't seriously injured, Flash and Dale asked to be married by the missionary. The Reverend Chalmers declared that such a solemn step could only be taken after due deliberation and led the way back to his camp to discuss the matter. These thrilling adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the big comic weekly the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. For Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue the story. Back at the camp of the Reverend Chalmers and his wife, after supper, Flash pleads his case. You see, Reverend, Dale and I have been trying to get married for a long time. Flash and I love each other very much, Mr. Chalmers. I'm sure you do, Miss Arden. But as I said before, marriage is something that can't be decided in a hurry. Excuse me, Reverend, but I did decide it in a hurry. The minute I saw Dale sitting across the aisle from me in that transcontinental plane... And so did I. The minute I saw Flash, look at me. Excuse me for interrupting, Reverend, but I can assure you that never have I seen such true devotion as Flash and Dale bear for each other. The sincerity of these two young people impresses me greatly, Dr. Sarkov. And what you say adds weight. I know you men of science. Truth is paramount in all things with you. Science is based on truth, reverence. No matter who may be benefited or who may be hurt, the truth must at all times be spoken. Well, sir, what's your verdict? My earnest young friend, I shall be delighted to perform the ceremony which will make you as one. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chalmers. That's mighty nice of you, sir. Well, it is in my party, but I'm delighted myself. This is the first jungle wedding I've witnessed, uh, uh, between white people, I mean. A jungle wedding? Oh, Flash, how exciting. It's going to be different from the ceremony we kept looking forward to in Mongo. I don't care about anything, as long as I have you, Flash. You darling. And as far as I'm concerned, having you is a darn sight more important than any kingdom ever created. Oh, my dear. Uh, excuse me, you two. I hate to break in, but uh, just when is the ceremony going to take place? There's a steamer leaving for the States tomorrow night. There is? Yep. Then why can't we be married tomorrow noon? You can, my dear boy. And then Mrs. Chalmers and I will escort you in our motorboat to the steamer. 
Won't be Mary, dear? Of course, Manly. Oh, that will be wonderful. Then tomorrow morning, Miss Arden, we'll go through the box of clothing we're taking to the mission and find a wedding outfit for you. Find something for Dr. Zarkoff and me, please, Mrs. Chalmers. Yes, I surely need it. Uh, oh, Cole, it doesn't Cole and I will build an altar for you in the middle of the jungle. I'll gather some flowers for my bouquet. I'll help you, Dale. We'll trim the altar Jim and Colo build. Well, uh, I'll set up our portable gramophone and dust off the recording of the wedding march. Gorgeous. Not half as gorgeous as you are, Dale. Thank you. But just think, we couldn't have an altar all trimmed in orchids if we were being married in the States. That's only too true. Your color of gardenias is beautiful. I thought it was when I made it. And to think, all this was had just for the picking. I wonder what that can be. Uh, Jim? Jim? Hello? What are those tom-toms for? Oh, some natives having a powwow. Say, you're the prettiest bride I ever saw, Miss Arden. Why, thank you. For once, Dale can't use the usual feminine reply to a compliment. Oh, these things, heavens, they're old. I could say that, <laughs> and it would be true. But I'm grateful to Miss Somebody for them. As I am to Mr. Somebody for this blue suit and bow tie. Uh, Jim, have you the ring we borrowed from Mrs. Chalmers? Right here. Uh, keep your shirt on. Where's Dr. Zarkoff and Mr. Chalmers? Well, Zarkoff's getting dressed. The Reverend setting the gramophone so Mrs. Chalmers can play the wedding march. All right, Mr. Gordon. I think we're ready. You and Dr. Zarkoff will come from the tent, Miss Arden, when the wedding march starts. He's waiting for you. Well, Miss Arden, when we part again, you'll be Mrs. Flash Gordon. I can hardly wait. Well, I guess we can take our places at the altar, gentlemen. It's funny, sir. This is the thing I've wanted more than anything in my life, marrying Dale. Now I'm more scared to stand in front of that altar and go through the ceremony than I ever was when I rescued her from our enemies in Mongo. It's the solemnity of the occasion, my dear boy. Yeah. Now, uh, you and Jungle Jim stand here at my left. That's it. All ready, Mary? Master Jim! Master Jim! Well, something's happened. I've never seen Colo so excited. Uh, wait a minute. Stop the gramophone, please, Mary. Master Jim, chief of tribe here say no wedding without native wedding. He got a warrior all round here. Oh, so that's what the tom-toms mean. They saw us preparing for this. Do you mind being married a la native first flash? It will simplify things. Uh, no, of course not. Uh, Dale, come here. Uh, here come chief to perform ceremony. What's the matter, Flash? The natives intend to start trouble if we don't let them marry us for the local ceremony. Do you mind going through with it? Of course I don't. I think it's thrilling. Our wedding will really be a jungle wedding in more ways than one. <laughs> All right, Chief. Shoot. What do we do? We need Tonga. Magataga Daraita. Ipang Pananaga Nimoai Babuega. Yamonaga Sira. Et Magayan Nagapa. Ak Marua Nagapa Nulot. What's he saying? We ask Dari to make a happy union. Give good hunting, and may you have all the things you need for the rest of your lives. Hold out and. What's he going to do? Anoint Flash's forefinger with coconut oil. See? He's tracing Flash's finger from the tip to the pulse. Apayat magayan nagap balad. That means, may your good fortune ascend. Apayat yagamen naga lapay. And that means, may your bad fortune descend. And now he goes from the pulse to the tip of the finger. You're next, Miss Arden. Apayat magayan naga balad. Apayat yagamen naga lapay. Here rice to unflash. Missy, what do we do with these balls of rice? The chief is making signs for you to exchange them. Oh, here, Dale. And you take this one, Flash. And now, friends, everything's okay with the chief. You're married. Is that all there is to it? Yes, that's all. Why, it's terribly unimpressive. Well, that's because it doesn't mean anything to us. Let's really be married now. Please take your places. Come, Dale, back to the tent. All right, Mary. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of his company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. 
which is commended in Holy Scripture to be honorable among men, and therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but irreverently, discreetly, advisedly, and soberly in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. If any man can show just cause why they may not be lawfully joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. Who give us this woman to be married to this man? I do. Flash Gordon, wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her so long as ye both shall live? I will. Dale Arden, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou obey him and serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him, so long as ye both shall live? I will. The ring. Flash. Place the ring on Dale's finger and repeat after me. With this ring... With this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. And with all my worldly good. And with all my worldly good. I thee endow. I thee endow. Let us pray. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon these thy servants, this man and this woman, whom we bless in thy name, that as Isaac and Rebecca live faithfully together, so these persons may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant betwixt them made, whereof this ring given and received is a token and pledge, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to thy laws. Amen. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Flash and Dale have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and thereto have pledged their troth, each to other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring, and by joining hands. I pronounce they are man and wife. You may kiss your bride. Dale, dearest, wife. Last darling, at last I can call you husband. This has been the most beautiful wedding I have ever seen in the field, Mrs. Gordon. Allow me to wish you every happiness. Thank you. I don't need to tell Mr. Gordon that he's a very lucky man. Indeed you don't, sir. Nor the happiest man in the world, for I know I am. And please accept my good wishes. You deserve the best of everything. Say, folks, I don't want to be left out. Mrs. Gordon, all happiness to you. Thank you. My congratulations, Flash. Thanks very much. You've been awfully kind to us, Jim. Dale and I will never forget you. I should say not. And when you come back to the United States... You must come and see us. Thank you, ma'am. I sure will. And uh, speaking of the States, I don't want to hurry you, but... Uh... Bless my soul. We'd better be getting started if you want to make the steamer. Are you all ready? Yes. We're going with just the clothes we have on our backs, thanks to your people back home. Uh, come on. Let's get into the motorboat. This old Prince Albert could be a little looser, but it's very dressy looking, don't you think? You look terribly distinguished, Dr. Zoss. Oh, thank you, Dale. Well, uh, since the charmers are taking us to the steamer, I guess there's just you and Colo to say goodbye to, Jim. Wish you were coming to see us off. Well, we might if there'd been room, but it's just as well parting now. We can say it all here. And Colo and I better be getting back to that camp of ours, if there's any camp left. You're right, Boss Jim. Maybe River Pirates set fire camp while we're gone. Flash, hurry. We're waiting. Coming, dear. Well, so long, Jim. Thanks for everything. That's okay, Flash. Good luck to you. Goodbye, Colo. Goodbye, to on Flash. Hurry up, Flash. Hurry up. Goodbye. 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 There go mission two on boat. Down river against sun. Yes, Colo. There goes mission two on boat. You know, Flash Gordon's a great fellow. Maybe we'll see him again sometime. Well, I wonder what's going to happen to us next, Colo. Sure and be with us next week at the same time for the beginning of a long series of thrilling adventures with Jungle Jim. 
Each week, the Comic Weekly, distributed everywhere with the Hearst Sunday newspapers, reproduces Jungle Jim in full-color action pictures. Get acquainted with this sterling adventurer and with Colo, his man Friday. See pictured for you by a famous artist, all the leading characters as well as the natives, the wild animals, and the many queer forms of vegetation in the steaming jungle, which forms the background to these thrilling adventures way down at the southernmost tip of Asia. Then, of course, you don't want to miss next Sunday's colored poster stamps. These wonderful poster stamps appear exclusively in the Comic Weekly and are drawn by famous artists especially for you. The official album of the Poster Stamp Collectors Club is available at stores everywhere. So if you haven't yet started your collection, be sure and get the Comic Weekly with next Sunday's Hearst newspaper and become an active participant in Young America's newest and most popular educational hobbies.